Hello, this is Stephanie Toman. It's another one of the videos in my series for the basic Excel learning. Um, so if you're interested in uh, what you can do with the spreadsheet with regard to editing it, um, which it will do as you evolve with the spreadsheet, and more formatting tools that can make your spreadsheet look uh, very professional and work properly. Brings us on to formatting now. Formatting is quite a big area in spreadsheets. People don't normally think it has a lot, but it can. It can look really good. There's lots of areas we need to look at here. Let's make sure we can see them all. So we've got inserting, deleting cells, rows and columns. We've had a look at that. You can put in um, cells. So you could insert highlighted insert cell and shift the cells down. So you can insert cells like that. You can um, obviously do column widths. If you right click on a column in the gray area at the top, you've got a width. And you can type in a particular one. In a row, right click, you've got row height as well. You've got borders. So the thing you've got to let's use escape stuck. If you've got a border and you wanted, if we're going to do this area in a border, we've got our usual um, border here. And we can go to more borders or all borders. They're all up there anyway. So you could have outline inside and out. And then you could apply a colour. However, if you pick the colour, notice it's not been applied. In Word, it automatically gets applied. In Excel, you have to actually apply it on there like a sample. Okay, so you can actually see it. You can make it a bit thicker there as well. Then OK, and then that border will come on. We have um, things that are like wrap. So this text here is called truncated. So in other words, you're not seeing the full data clearly, and that's considered as very um, inappropriate on uh, Excel. So if you highlight that row, we can wrap it using the wrap text up here, and it wraps extra long text into multiple lines. So you can see it all, and you can see how what happens when you do it. And this is good if you've got lots of headings going across the top, you've got a really long heading, you do not want your spreadsheet going all the way down into the Zs, etc. column wise. So you have to keep scrolling back and forth. Table styles are easy as well. If you highlight a particular area and you apply a table style, so if you go into um, here and into the drop down view format of table, and you can apply to a particular setting, I've just selected that, and then that applies just there. You could do it to the whole of the table, obviously, it would make more sense. Rotating text and alignment. So you've got this feature here. Um, so if we drop that down, rotate up, rotate down, etc. So you've got that. Freezing panes is very useful. So in the exam, um, if you click in a cell and you go to view and you drop down freeze panes, you can just freeze the top row automatically where you, wherever you clicked. So you click on the top row, you can see that that's froze that row, top row. Take it off, go back in and unfreeze. If however you want to do to freeze three, two and one, so everything above four, You'd have to select the four row and do the freeze on the freeze panes. And then you can see that everything above the four stays still and freeze. If you wanted the first column, you've got that option of freeze first column, and that would freeze that way. If, however, as you did before, you wanted to freeze um, everything before C, you highlighted C. And do the freeze, oops, just the normal freeze, not the freeze column, and then that one would work. If, however, you wanted to freeze both a column and a heading, and the normal place would be in A1, so you wanted to, sorry, B1, B2, so you wanted to hire, you wanted to keep row one and A. So that's the intersecting one, B2 would be the intersecting one. If you had headings down here, they would stay still and the headings across would stay still. And when you freeze that, you can go that way and you can go that way. So Format Painter, this one here, I've got this um, in Arial 16, bold and italic. 
if I copy that by one click, I can apply it to something else and then it goes off. If I want to do it more than once, double click it and then I can do it in a number of places and then click off when I'm finished. So that's your Format Painter. And remember, Format Painter copies formatting only. It's nothing to do with text or numbers of formatting that's applied. Uh, Zoom, nice and straightforward. We've got Zoom. If you were asked to do Zoom, um, maybe 101, trying to fix that, believe me, it's not easy. Go to the View tab and use this Zoom. So this Zoom will allow you to type in particular sizes and it's a lot easier to use than trying to slide back and forth. Before we leave this um, sheet we're going to look at some formatting. So um, if I just change these numbers oops, and go into the home, let's just take make them numbers so uh, drop that down let's put it on number okay so I'll bring it up for you a little bit with Zoom. So these numbers here, if you were asked to make these um, thousands, this is the feature here, the comma style. So format with a thousands separator is the language they use. Click it on and it puts a thousand comma in if applicable. Obviously that's not in a thousand. So that's that feature there, comma style. You've got lots of other ones. You've got currency. Um, you've got general, nothing. Number, accounting. This one, you've got dates. So you could have short date. You can have a long date. So you can see the difference going on there. So a lot of formatting going along here. And then your percentages, which are just popped here. So you could. Um, over there and do some percentages okay then you've got in this one with the decimal you can change the decimal places as well of the figures that you've got so this is about changing that and it can all be done with format cells exactly the same place has all of that going on there if that's the way you've used it in the past so that's your formatting all here Okay, let's move on to your next one. So you've got some formatting practice here. We've got some features that I may not have mentioned. Let's just have a quick look. So remember wrapping, you've got this one and you've got your wrap text. And then you could just bring it out slightly because only wrap, if there's an S missing or something, then it won't wrap exactly. You've got the apply your merge and center merge and center you go across the cell and it's this little feature here so in the past what you would do is you would merge that first using the format cells merging the cells and then center but in this one all you do is highlight the area you want to merge and center the cell range click on that and it does it for you so a nice little tool make sure you use it when they ask for it currency format to be um four these are not wide enough to remember the error it told you. It's got B4 to A17. It's not B4 to A17. And then you've got the currency. So you can keep on trying these. Um, auto fit. Do you remember auto fit in a column? I did it earlier. So it's like that. Auto fit. And when these were too small, auto fit to look in the junction there double click and it opens it up to fit automatically do you remember the thousand separators on a22 got it here do you remember that little columns but if i put them back to general and then you apply it you can see the difference there freezing rows remember if you're freezing a1 and a3 a1 to A3, you go below A3 and then you can go into the view and you can freeze panes. And then the final one, applying shading to your choice, because we didn't do this. Let's do it there. And remember, on your home tab, you have shading, which will be fill. So any shading is going to be your fill. And you can just apply 
any shading that you wish. So that's most of the formatting covered there. And that takes us then on to um, functions. 